for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Proving what is acceptable unto God. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are, man, are made manifest by the light. For whosoever doth make manifest is light. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Give thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your word, for your word is mine.
mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash my tears from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me.
God's character and his word. Tune your spiritual ears, your spiritual ears, to his still, quiet voice. Lean in and listen for his whispers, even when the silence is uncomfortable. Listen, God is still speaking. Amen? Amen. Amen. Church, amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Reed, for reading us in the usual manner in which you read us. Amen. Again, I want to hang it on the line of your mind uh, that uh, we are approaching the uh, Dear Missionary Baptist Convention convening here in the Hope and the World again uh, on the 17th, that's next Sunday. Sunday night will be the beginning, which will be starting at 9 o'clock, which will be uh, preaching uh, in the late night. Amen. And remember, Pastor Clifton King and Jarvis Ware will begin uh, that service here this coming Sunday uh, night at 9. And if you want to know what preaching is like at 9 o'clock, come around and see what it's like. Amen. 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 I'm sure they don't want to be preaching to pensions. Amen. And uh, they, will, they will be blessed with your presence. Amen. And you hear these fine ministers. And then on the next evening, the 18th, we'll be uh, Herman Cole from Indianola and uh, Pastor Charles Hollis. Uh, Herman Cole is the pastor of Kyle, our own Kyle Cornell. Amen. Amen. And then the, uh, the 19th will be said to be my cousin on my mama's side. <laughs> He'll be preaching the final night of the 19th along with Pastor Otha Campbell. Amen. Amen. So um, let's, let's try to support and do what we can uh, to make everything be great and grand. Amen. Amen. So there will be classes that will be available to you, the membership, and of course uh, our registration allows you to take advantage of these opportunities. And I'm sure and I pray that you will take advantage uh, of all of the activities that will be going on here at the uh, beginning of next week. Amen. We want you to lift up again uh, Pastor Winters who is hospitalized and he is still in the hospital. And we want you to lift him up in prayer. There's a special program slated for him uh, on uh, next Sunday and we will uh, notify you uh, as to whether or not the program will proceed. Uh, men of this church are scheduled to sing and uh, we will notify you uh, if that program is going to proceed uh, as uh, it is uh, slated to be. Amen. Amen. And uh, we will resume our Bible study on Tuesday. We've been involved in other activities. And uh, we will resume our Bible study on Tuesday, Tuesday evening. And let us uh, give a great big shout out and uh, great big God bless you to our own share, share of Gaston for Amen. his uh, re-election. <laughs> uh, we were proud that he was able to be re-elected and we pray that he and his staff uh, will continue to serve Washington County uh, and the people of the Mississippi Delta. Amen. Amen. God bless you, God keep you, and uh, we would like to ask you to put Sister Margaret Kingdom on your list. She lost her dear mother this past week. You were notified by uh, Sister Mina uh, in your email, and we want to uh, include her on the agenda. Amen. Amen. And that she will grow stronger and be able to come out 
Sunday, December the 1st, at 3 o'clock p.m., where Reverend Sandy Ray can be guest speaker. Amen. To all veterans, whether at home or abroad, active duty, reserve, or retired, all Americans say thank you. Let's uh, pray for all the sick and shut in as well as the caretakers. So we know the prayer will change things. Amen. Good morning to all of you tonight. And to say thank you for your prayer, for your call. And to the deacon and Sister Moore and Sister Lava, thank you for doing what I was supposed to be doing. Thank you. And to all of the rest of the deacon and Thank you for your cooperation and to the new family. Thank you for your cooperation with me. Amen. I'm happy to do that. Amen. And I thank God for allowing me to come back Amen. and see you one more time. Amen. I know that he is with me all the way. Amen. Because my life is here to save. Yes. Thank you so very much. Amen.
what you have brought to this worship. Amen. Amen. It is certainly good for us to be here. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
So Isaiah says, he likens the Christian and those that believe in God like an eagle. All right. Exodus 19, 1 through 6, describes God who delivered the nation of Israel from the Egyptians and carried them out on the wings of evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This God would keep his promises because he is a covenant keeping God. Yes. Amen. And he will keep his promises. Yes. Yes. And he is able to subdue all things unto him. All the believer has to do mm -hmm. is keep faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. The text says, they that wait upon the Lord. Yes, sir. Now, this waiting does not mean that you are waiting for a package to arrive. All right. Go ahead, please. The waiting does not mean that you are waiting for the post office to put a slip in your box right. to let you know that your package has come. Right. But, but this waiting means a twisting. <clears throat> the word wait here is not, is not something where you're sitting and waiting for God to bring you something. That's right. But it is a waiting that means to be twisted or to be tied up in such a way that you're wrapped up with God. That God is, is the one you're putting your total trust in. In other words, it is not you, the believer, that is waiting on God. But it's God that is waiting on you. It is not you that are waiting on God, but it is God that is waiting on you. So the word wait there actually means that you're so tied up with God until you believe without a doubt that he will fulfill his promise. So he said wait. And then he says, they will mount up, and that word mount up is Allah. Mm -hmm. And the word Allah uh, means that when you mount up, it means that you will overcome any boundary or any obstacle that may be in your way. That's right. And if you are a believer, you're going to have some obstacles that will be in your way. You're going to have a whole lot of stuff yes, in this life yes, that's going to get in your way. Yes. But Isaiah assures us that we'll be able to mount up. Uh -huh. And when you mount up, you're able to overcome and to rise above. Yes, sir. Yeah, the Washington team, baseball team, uh, the Washington National had won, had never won in a long time. Matter of fact, they had won the World Series until 1924. Since 1924, that's a long time. And you know, if you're playing ball that long, look like victory ain't going to never come. And sometimes when we're in our lives, it looks like it seems like victory ain't going to never show up. Oh but they kept on playing. Yeah. They kept on throwing the ball. Yeah. They kept on swinging at the ball. Yeah. And the other day, victory came to town. Yeah. Oh I really want us to know that we are likened to an eagle. Mm -hmm. Without all of the doubt. He wants us to know that without a doubt, we are like the eagle, which is characteristic of God, and that we can succeed above God. Yeah. Yes, when we look at the eagle, there are so many parallels that I want to share with you today. 
that ought to encourage you mm -hmm. that God wants you to fly like an eagle. All right, all right. Now, when an eagle is born, an eagle uh, comes with his mouth open and his eyes open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His mouth open and his eyes open. And when his mouth is open, his eyes open, it means that and symbolizes that we are to speak what God speaks. That's right. That's Man is a created creature. Mm -hmm. God spoke this world into existence. All right. Our eyes should be open to the light of the word of God. Amen. And when my eyes and our mouth is open to say what God says, we can have victory in every area of our lives. Amen. Amen. Now one of the things that when an eagle is first born, an eagle is tremendously hungry. Yeah. It takes a tremendous amount of food to satisfy an eagle. Right. And if we are going to soar, you're going to have to have a hunger for the word of God. That is, you're going to have to have a hunger for the word of God on a daily basis. In other words, it's just not enough to show up on Sunday morning. All right. But you got to be in the word on an ongoing basis, even daily. That's right. That's it. Now, secondly, eagles live in high places. The Lord never wanted his children to be walking around with their head down. All right. But he wants us to know that eagles live in high places. All right, all right. Oh yes, they they can be found in high altitudes. Uh -huh. yeah. High is ten thousand feet in the air. Matter of fact, there's no bird that can fly as high as an eagle. No bird can withstand the type of height and altitude that an eagle can fly. He's a bird that can be seen in high places. And I want you to know today that God desires that his people reside and be in high places. Right. He wants us to be in high places. Yeah. He demands that we be in high places. For mm -hmm. John 5 and 4 says, Whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith. Wingspan of an eagle is something like 68 feet long. They weigh 7 to 15 pounds. They're created to fly fast and reside in the high place. Mm -hmm. They can fly at speed from 75 to 100 miles an hour. Yeah, all right. Which tells us that God is swift. Yeah. God can do a quick work. In your life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Things can be bad today and, and sad. Yes, but God can do a quick work. That's right. It doesn't take God long to turn things around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To turn it around on a Saturday. God has the power if we have the faith. Yes. God is the right now, God. Yes, he ain't no God of the power of God of yesterday. Yes, yesterday, your God. Is the right now. Yes, yes, we got to believe, you know, when we read about God in the Bible, uh, we think that God is short of His word, and what He did yesterday, He's not able to do today. But the God that we serve is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is not limited in His power. We only limit God by our belief and our faith and what He can and what He will do. That's right. God, God, God desires his people to reside in the high place. Yes. yes. And then uh, the eagle has a tremendous ability to be a master fisherman. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, they can fly up so high above the clouds and look down 
and see fish swimming uh, in a lake or swimming in water and swoop down and catch them while they're swimming. He's just that focus. Some of us, we miss things on life because we still have our attention somewhere everywhere. We got to learn, we got to learn how to focus. Yeah. Everybody said focus. Oh, yes. You've got to learn how to focus on, on, on the things of God and ask God to give you a mind to be focused. Amen. And when you're focused on uh, a particular problem, a particular solution that you're looking for, God will give you the answer. Amen. The Bible tells us that God wants us to become and be fishers of men. The Lord said, follow me and I will make you fishers of me. So, 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 so the Bible tells us through the eagle that the eagle is a master fisher. Uh -huh. Then, also I tell you that in this life, you're not going to have a lot of people that don't be with you. You never find eagles flying in flocks. But they fly by themselves. You do know sometimes being a Christian is a lonely profession. Sometimes it seems like ain't nobody around but you. But if you're going to be a servant of the Lord, you need to remind yourself sometimes it's going to be a lonely situation. But the Lord said, Lord, I am with you all, Always. even to the end of the world. Yes, sir. Eagles fly along. They follow the path that is narrow. They don't follow the broad way. Mm -hmm. right. David was one who knew how it was to be alone. Mm -hmm. Yes, when he went to fight against the light, mm -hmm. his tall, handsome brothers mm -hmm. were somewhere hiding. But David was alone by himself yeah. in the valley of Eli. Mm -hmm. And there he fought against the giant Goliath. Yes, Peter was always one to speak out, and sometimes he speak out of turn. Yes. 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 But he was alone when he stepped out of the boat. Yeah. 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 He stepped out by himself. Yes. 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 But he was the only one that experienced. The yeah. fact that he could walk on water yeah. right. if he kept his eye on the Lord. Yeah. Right. He only did it because he was by himself. Right. Can't you see those disciples hollering at him? Don't you die out there. You're going to cry out. Yeah. But Peter put one foot out of the boat yeah. and another one out of the boat. Yeah. And his faith allowed him to walk oh, on the wall. Yeah. Don't worry about the fact that he. He didn't sleep. The Bible said he was in sleep. When he took his eyes off the door. But at least he had faith to get out of the door. The rest of them, they could have done the same thing. But they were too afraid to move out of that comfort zone. And if you're going to do big things for God, you got to learn to move out of your comfort zone. You got to learn to move out. Do something that you've never done before. Amen. If you want to have what you never had, you got to do what you never done. Yes, and then Paul, he knew what it was like to be alone for God put him out on the quiet hills of the river, and there Jesus taught him for three years. Uh -huh. And even Jesus himself knew what it was like to be alone in the garden of the city. Eagles are birds that fly alone. They don't hang around in flocks. Mm -hmm. So don't be surprised when you step out on the wood. Oh, ain't nobody out there but you. Yes. Because being in the army of the Lord, sometimes it's a lonely profession. All right. All right. Yes, and then another thing I want to tell you, number five, is that eagles don't eat dead stuff. 
They don't eat dead. All they eat is that which is alive. Right. Which tells us that when folks bring a lot of garbage to you, don't eat it. Right. 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 It's a lot of dead stuff. Right. Right. The eagles don't eat dead stuff. They eat only those things that are alive. And the word of God is alive. Because it is the mind of God. All right. Then another thing I want to tell you about the character of the eagle is that the eagle loves storms. Mm -hmm. Now most of us don't like the storms. We get scared when the wind go to howl. The lightning go to flash. We get a little shaky when a storm comes. It's not so for an eagle. An eagle loves the storm. He doesn't, he doesn't have to get out of the sky when the storm comes. But what he can do, he, he sees the storm coming and he can zoom over the storm. And keep on flying regardless of what the storm looks like. He doesn't have to get out of the sky and land on the ground. But he can stay in the sky and continue to fly. He can zoom up above. Don't get worried about a lot of pity stuff. That's right. That's right. When folk talk about you, yeah. 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 calling your name, uh -huh. saying you ain't no good, uh -huh. saying you ain't nothing, uh -huh. saying you thank you somebody. Uh -huh. You ain't gonna never be nothing. Uh -huh. Your mama wasn't that, your dad wasn't. Uh -huh. You can do up above all of that. Uh -huh. You can do up above. Where the Lord wants us to handle it, I'll say. Yeah. Yes. And now that when folk talk about you, I'll try to get comfortable. Right. At least they're thinking about you. That's the way I look at it. At least they're thinking about you. At least you're on their mind. If they talk you, you ought to carry a company. And you know why people really talk about you uh -huh. and pull you down? It's really admiration in disguise. All right, all right, all right. Y'all miss that. It's really admiration in disguise. The reason why they talk about you is because they admire you and they wish that they were going where you go. Family, you be full of that. Oh, yes, oh, yes, and then. About the cow and the eagle, he doesn't have to flap his wings all the time. He, you know, you know, a lot of times we want to flap our wings. We want to show how much money we got, what the kind of power we got, where we live, and, and how many friends we got. In the end, you don't, you don't have to flap your wing if, if you if you got it. Everybody gonna know. Yes, yes. He doesn't have to tap his wing to fly because, you see, he knows how to conserve energy. Yeah. Okay. He knows how to conserve yeah. energy. Okay. Everybody said conserve energy. Conserve. And, and the way you conserve energy is that you do things not in the flesh, but you do things in the spirit. And the spirit, when the spirit comes, the spirit allows us to fly higher than we ever could fly because we're not flying on our own. We're flying on the power and the direction of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 And it would be so many things. I've done my life, but I look around, Lord, I know it's you. Yeah. 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 I know it's you. Yeah. I know it's you. Yeah. It ain't yeah. no way in the world. I could have done it by myself. And you did all of that, and you didn't have a whole lot of money and resources, but God was on your side. Yes, 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 yes. You did it because of the spirit mm -hmm. of the living God. Yes, so y'all stayed on the job because so much hell you wanted to quit everything. You wanted to get a hammer and knock the devil out of the devil. Thank you. 
And I don't even want to knock the devil out. <laughs> Yeah, them meetings and folk talking all that kind of talk, and they treating you like a dog and trying to act like everything is all right. Now everything is. But the Lord, He the one that to stay there long enough to retire and get your check because the devil didn't want you to stay. But the Lord. Uh -huh. 
And uh, when a male eagle uh, trying to coat uh, the female, what she does is she will pluck uh, a feather or get a tweed and fly up uh, in three dimensions and in the figure of an eight and drop the feather or tweed. And the male bird will have to catch the tweed before it hits the ground. She will do that several times. And, and this uh, is a ritual that will tell her if the male eagle is going to be a good provider. Right. If he drops the twig and cannot catch the feather, she will fly away because she knows you ain't the one. But, but if, if he's able, if he's able to, to keep the twig, if he's able to keep the twig and keep it in his mouth and give it all back to her, then she will say, you the man. And all I'm saying to you is, uh, you may be single as a dog, but you don't have to be loose like chain. <laughs> God wants you to have some dignity about yourself. Look at the life of an eagle. God said, let them that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up and move the eagle. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. I don't know about you, but I'm an eagle Christian. Because I can fly with y'all. When you got the power of the Holy Ghost, you can fly with an eagle. In the Lord, all right. I got one and I'm going to leave you alone. Yet when an eagle gets sick, and everybody in here sometimes uh, you don't feel well. But when an eagle gets sick, and it seems like uh, his body has become poisoned and filled with toxin, but he does, uh, he flies uh, up high on a mountain and he stretches himself out on a rock and the sun the S-U-N crawls out of the poison out of his body if you ever get sick in life stretch out on a rock and that rock is Jesus Christ Yes, sir. That's the reason why I 
is here moving. Uh -huh. He wants us to know we have all of the characteristics That's right. yeah. of God himself. Yeah. The eagle represents God yeah. and his power. Yeah. And who he is, so are we right. in the world. Amen. God bless you today. We extend the invitation to make some a letter to the
communion and the fellowship of Jesus Christ be with us one and all until we meet again. Let us sing together.